This is Packet Tracer 9.2.4.3. Configuring and troubleshooting a switched network. The objectives, establish console connection to the switch, configure host name in VLAN 1, use the help feature to configure the clock, configure password and console telnet access, configure login banners, configure the router, solve duplex and speed mismatch problems, configure port security, secure unused ports, and manage the switch configuration file. Now to begin with, we are given a addressing table and we need to establish a console connection to the switch using console line. So connections, console, go from PC1 to the switch in the console, click on the PC, go to desktop terminal, OK, and we're ready to rock and roll. Enable to config T, and it says to use default terminal configurations. I'm not sure what the default is, so we'll just put in enable password, Cisco, enable secret, glass. Next is to configure the host name, host name S1. Now we need to configure fast ethernet 1, so interface FA slash 1, switch port mode access, exit out of there. Now we need to do the VLAN, so interface VLAN 1, IP address 172.17.99.11 with a subnet mask 255.255.255.0. No shutdown, exit through the default gateway is 172.17.99.1. Exit, and then we're going to ping our router 1799. Success rate is 80%. So, well, connectivity. Next one is to configure the clock. Config T clock question mark and clock time zone, and then you put in the name of the time zone, which will be MT, and then you use the hour that's set. So it would be minus seven and exit show clock and it's set not correct but it's set to config t again set the password to class so enable secret class now we're going to configure the passwords line console zero password cisco login exit i'm going to go to our bty line our telnet line BTY 04 password Cisco login exit exit show running config we can see our password we need to encrypt it config T line console 0 enable secret Cisco line BTY 04 enable secret Cisco banner or message of the day authorized access only exit next we are doing our route command line enable config t host name as r1 enable password class enable secret class and then we're going to do our console and v2y lines line console password Cisco login enable secret Cisco X line VTY password Cisco login Cisco enter message of the day space authorized access only enter exit copy run start I misspelled access so let's go back in there and fix that. Authorized access only. Exit. Copy run start. We're going to solve a mismatch between duplex and speed. We need to verify that there is connectivity first to the server. Let's ping from PC1. 172.17.99.31. It's not even reaching it. I'm trying to figure out why the PC1 cannot ping the server. The duplex and speed are mismatched. You pull up the server, you'll see 
fast Ethernet that it's full duplex and 100 megabytes. Configure this switch to have the same duplex and speed. You go config T interface FA0 slash 24 enter duplex full enter. Now let's change speed 100 exit. Verify that we can reach it. So let's ping the server. 172.17.99.31. And we can ping that now. So we're going to do the same thing. Config T. Interface FA 0 slash 18. And duplex full. Speed 100. Exit. Now let's see if we can ping from our command prompt. Ping 172.17.99.31. And now we have a reply. Now we're going to establish port security. Go into the interface that we're going to set, which was FA18. So interface FA0 slash 18. Type in switch port, port security. Then we need to specify the MAC address. Let's do a maximum of one. So we switch port, port security, MAC address to key. So now I need to ping from PC1, command prompt, ping the switch, which is 172.17.99.11. Okay, let's go back to terminal, show MAC address table, show port interface, FA, port security is not enabled, so we need to enable that. Config T interface FA slash 18 switch port security I should enable it. Exit, exit, copy, run, start. Let's see if that fixes it. Show port security interface. So this matches. Let's ping that again. There it is. Switch port, port security, MAC address, sticky, and that's its MAC address. We need to test port security to remove the Ethernet connection from switch and PC1, and then connect PC2 to interface fast Ethernet 18 to delete that, and then connect Ethernet 18. We're going to ping 172.17.99.31. So it's not reaching it. Minimize that. Look at PC1. It shows that it's secure and there was a violation. It says to notice that line protocol is down. So show interface FA0 slash 18. It says line is down, error disabled. This also shows that it was a security violation. So let's reconnect. So remove this connection, reconnect. This PC, we need to go back into our interface, but no shutdown. So we need to disable all ports that are not being used. Config T interface FA0 slash 2 shutdown. Exit interface FA0 slash 3 shutdown. Exit interface FA0 slash 4. Oops, slash 4. Shutdown. Exit interface JG1 slash 1 shutdown exit to interface JG1 slash 2 slash 2 and this is shut down that disables them exit exit again copy run start we need to back up the configuration file to the server copy startup config TFTP Address or name of remote host is 172.17.99.31. Enter. Accept the default name. Enter again. It's OK. It's saved. And let's do this on the router. Copy startup config TFTP name 172.17. Dot 99.31. Enter. Enter. Right, everything is good there. Now we need to check to make sure that our configurations are saved on the server. So we open the server back up. Go to config tab. Then go to TFTP. And then we look for the name. 
which was R1 config and S1 config, and they're both here. So let's check our results and see was incomplete. So the encryption I know basically was just the encryption that I had issues with, but everything else was fine. All right, I'm going to say this is passable for now, but I will work on that.